this is Hannah and great call to join me and set aside some time to actually prioritize your goals and your dreams. You are here tuning in to how to translate your passion projects into profit and I am so excited to jump right in and give you four key elements that you can implement today into your business model, into your vision board, and into your daily habits so that you truly can get paid for doing what you love. Because I know if you're here, you've got a purpose, a soul's message and mission that you know other people can benefit from, and you've got to figure out how to be able to put all of your energy into that. And getting paid is a huge part of being able to be, you know, 100% into your passion and doing what you love. So, I'm super interested, you know, what your passion projects are. So some of you may be coaches and consultants like me. Others of you might be teachers like my partner, who I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Some of you might be yoga teachers, also something I do. Um, Some of you might even have an MLM or a network marketing organization that you're really committed to succeeding in. Or you might have a service, a product, an online platform like a marketplace or a um, mastermind like a community and you're really looking to add an additional stream of income that is predictable reliable and still centered on your passions and your mission so I hope that you are in the right place. Um, So I'm going to be taking you through in the next hour, step by step from how to have a dream and a vision and a hope and how to turn that into a thriving online business. Today I'm coming at you guys from my casa, mi casa in Guatemala. I'm currently a digital nomad and I know so many of you want to have an independent a location independent business and there's so much opportunity now with setting your business up online so we're definitely going to drill into how you can have a thriving online business with whatever passions and skills you currently have so we're also going to identify the things that are most important for you to be focusing on i know me and many of my clients spent years in the information gathering zone standing on the sidelines gobbling up all of these freebies tuning in with our notes and not still not really clear on like what are my next steps what are the things that are actually going to bring me profit and where do i start so we're going to get clear on all of that so as always please do be here now i mentioned i'm a yoga teacher so I'm gonna ask you to just take a deep breath put away all of those other distractions those other tabs the phone all of that and I would encourage you to pull out a notebook or a place to take notes because we are going to be talking fast and this is going to be um, great information for you so I am actually sending up my notes here and I will encourage you to do the same so we can jump right in All right, so here we go. Um, I mentioned who this is for, and I hope you're, you know, I want to respect everyone's time, but this is not um, if you just want to copy and paste blueprint. I see way too many people, especially in the online space today, copy and pasting other people's content, and that's not what we are here for today. Um, This is going to take effort. You know, Jim Rohn says you can't hire other people to do your push-ups, and there are going to be some push-ups in this training today. So I want you to roll up your sleeves and get ready to do a little bit of internal work, personal work, um, because once this is done, once you pass these sort of building blocks these boulders are put into your foundation then we start delegating and you see you know the the ability to uh, leverage your time by employing other people doing all that stuff but today we're really going to be working you and me on your passions on the things you need to do personally Um, I also am talking to people who are willing to put some time into this. Like I said, if you believe you don't have time or you just want someone else to do it for you or you want to hire out your business strategy, um, I'm not talking to those folks. I'm talking to the people who want it to be uh, from the soul in an authentic brand, a aligned vision that you are willing to draw up and not, again, copy from someone else or mooch off of someone else Um, and if you're not interested in making money this is not for you okay if you have a passion project side hustle a hobby that you just love and you want to keep the love in it and you are afraid that earning money will ruin that or will make you feel differently about it like this is not for you I'm talking to people who want to make profit doing what they love and yes we're going to keep the joy in it but I also need you to be ready to approach this like a business because that's who really who I'm talking to entrepreneurs people ready to monetize 
Sound cool? All right, so who is excited? Who is pumped? We have a ton to cover today. Um, so I do hope you have your notes out. And while you are um, just making sure everything is set and ready, I'll tell you a little bit about me. So if we haven't met, my name is Hannah Hermanson. I grew up in a small town in Wisconsin. Uh, just today, or recently actually, I got more Instagram followers than were in my hometown. We had one stoplight. Um, I grew up there and then I went to the University of Wisconsin and I studied psychology. I loved college so much that I became an academic advisor and I quickly found that that was not enough for me. I was repeating myself like every half an hour and I was giving students these like blueprints for what to do with the rest of their lives. And as much as I loved helping young people set goals and think about success, I knew there was more for them as well as me. So I did lots of things. I mentioned I became a yoga teacher and I learned, you know, independent contracting that way. I started a multi-level marketing business and quickly succeeded in that. Yet I realized that that MLM was not for me because it was still not my thing. And I knew I had this like unique set of experiences and passions. And so um, another piece of my journey was helping to start a startup in Madison, Wisconsin, that taught educators how to bring yoga and mindfulness into their classrooms. And I loved that. I loved that. And it actually moved me out to San Francisco. And then one month later, they said they didn't have enough money for me. <laughs> so there I was, this like, you know, new girl in the most expensive city in the world, living with my new partner. Um, my boyfriend and I had met and he was in San Francisco. So that worked out, um, except for I had no way to earn money. And I knew I couldn't go back to the nine to five or the cubicle or academia. So I decided, you know, I'm going to figure out how to monetize what I have. And so I really poured myself into business strategy. And I started out as a life coach helping uh, women with eating disorders, also something I've worked through. Um, and then I quickly realized that any person who wants to live their best life, who wants to make a huge impact, who wants to feel proud and successful, needs a basic thing taken care of, no matter what their passion or their vision is. And that's income. So that's where I'm at now. I, um, my, The majority of my work is helping students of all ages, which I'll talk about later, um, and especially entrepreneurs monetize their passion project and figure out how to take what they've got and what they love and live the life that they only dream about. You know, I grew up hearing that when I win the lottery or when I retire, then I'll do what I love. And those people are aging and they're not doing what they love and they don't have a house in Guatemala at age 26. So that's why I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys the exact steps that everyone needs to move through to actually like earn the income and the worth and the lifestyle that they want before waiting for a lottery ticket or retirement. So if that's resonating with you, please let me know because you can 100% do the same thing if you follow these steps. It is possible to translate passion into profit. So imagine this. Again, take another deep breath with me. It's the year 2019, and you have translated your passions, those things that you love, the things that you daydream about, the things that you're putting off, into consistent profit. You're working with people that you love. Let's say you're earning $30,000 a month. Just go there with me. Even if that's not close to your income goal, just go to $30,000 with me. What are you waking up to? How do you feel in your mind? What are the thoughts when you wake up? How does your body feel? Are you at ease? Are you lighter? Who's around you? Who are those people you love working with? Do you have a partner? Do you have a family? How do you spend your mornings? Are you out in nature? Are you writing your book? And what types of messages are you getting? So let's say part of your morning routine is to check email. What do you see? Are people thanking you for changing their lives? Asking for more of your insight? Are you having opportunities to go places you never thought possible? I hope your eyes are closed and I hope you're picturing it, feeling it. Just go there. This is what we're working on today. I want you to have a fairly clear vision of what might be possible if you implement all of this. So you can open your eyes. And now I want you to answer this question out loud. Are you ready to lean in? 
Because oftentimes success happens when you just lean into it. When you make yourself open to opportunities and you're willing to do what it takes to pursue it further. You don't have a contract, no attachment, no promise of success, no expectation. You just start. You just lean into it. You see what it feels like. And you find out that if you want to keep going versus sitting on the sidelines and researching and reflecting and deliberating and meditating and journaling, you need to take action. And the good news is that just leaning into it, being open, that will create the momentum for the action. So one of the most extraordinary benefits of leaning into it is that you begin creating momentum. That unseen energy force that brings more opportunity, more resources, more people who can help you get into the life at a seeming, at those, just the right times, right? The seemingly perfect moment. And you can benefit. Mutual benefit is what we're talking about today. How do you attract the people, the resources, the opportunities that you can contribute to and that will fill up your cup, whether it's monetarily or in other forms of energy, Many of the best known acting careers, entrepreneurial pursuits, philanthropic projects, and other overnight successes or huge sensations happen because someone responded favorably to the question, have you considered? Or would you be open to? Or would you be willing to take a look at? And they leaned in. And this is one of those opportunities. So are you willing to be open to what I'm about to share, to consider trying things a little bit differently, doing things a little bit differently. You must be willing to lean into it and see how this unfolds. Because often we have a dream and because we can't see how we're going to achieve it, we're afraid to start. So maybe what you saw when you closed your eyes was big and scary and you started thinking, well, that would never work. How would I earn that much money? I don't know where I want, who's even gonna be that person, right? Maybe you started that uncertainty, that doubt started creeping in. And we're afraid to commit ourselves because the path is unclear and the outcome is uncertain. Yet, leaning in creates an experience that you haven't experienced yet, right? And so knowing like this is going to be unclear, this is uncertain and I'm open to it, that allows you to enter these unknown waters. Big, beautiful, better than you could have imagined waters. So simply start and keep taking what feel like the logical next steps Follow this blueprint that I'm going to give you and allow it to unfold because the journey is going to be better than you expect. So I know you've heard these webinars before. I am a yoga teacher. I do believe in, you know, the power of good energy, the law of attraction. And I 100% guarantee that you will get what you want when you help enough other people get what they want. So I'm setting you up here for a positive mindset so that we can move through this training and these steps with the right energy. So today, I'm going to walk you through how to share and monetize your calling, that thing you know you're meant to do, even if you don't exactly know what that is yet, right? Like you have a sense that you're either out of alignment or you have a taste of something you want to be pursuing. Ready? Okay. So the first thing we need to talk about is the money mindset. Okay, we're kind of talking about just like being open. Yeah, that's great. Well, here's a quote I want to share with you from a great book. I highly recommend you reading The Science of Getting Rich. And Wallace Waddles, the author says, whatever may be said in praise of poverty, the fact remains that it is not possible to live a really complete and successful life unless one is rich. How many of you really believe that? You know, I grew up, my dad worked for the city and my mom was a school social worker. And there was this huge belief that you work hard to help others and you will never be paid well for it. We live paycheck to paycheck and that's okay because we are public servants. And just entering the helping profession, you just don't earn a lot of money. And they had that belief. Yet, I believe... And I see this in entrepreneurs. I see this in successful philanthropists. I see this in my clients that when you lean in to earning a lot of money, you're able to do so much more. So we need to get clear on your heart-centered mission. How and why do you want to help a lot of people? Yes, you're going to get what you want when you do that. So what is it going to mean for the world? Those people who are waiting for you. 
we already visualized what it's going to mean for you. Okay, you can kind of start thinking about what is a $10,000 a month, a $30,000 a month. So it's also okay to keep in mind that if you don't have an Oprah-worthy mission right now, it will evolve. So even if it's just so that you don't have to commute or that you have more time with your kids, this is like we're talking about thinking about the mission, the thing that's going to get you out of the out of bed because entrepreneurship is not the overnight success, right? There is consistent momentum and belief and effort and action that goes into making profit. So don't ask what the world needs when you're thinking about what is your heart-centered mission? Why do you want to help people? Who do you want to help? Okay, I want you to ask yourself what makes you come alive because that is what the world needs. And some of you on here know exactly what your mission is. You know exactly what you want to be doing. You have a crystal clear picture. And some of you aren't so sure. You just know you need to do something bigger and different and heart-centered. So think about what makes you come alive. And if you're still struggling, I encourage you to write down a list of 20 things that bring you joy. The first time I did this years ago, I was writing down like sleeping in almond milk lattes like I wasn't experiencing abundant joy so 20 by the end of 20 things you have to start thinking about like okay well I love brainstorming I love seeing other people shift their mindset I love people eating healthier like you know I love being a part of that process so think about 20 things that bring you joy if you're still kind of unclear about your heart-centered mission because joy is your guidance system okay that's a writer downer Joy is your guidance system throughout all of this. If you're off track, you're frustrated, you're tired, you're not blissful. When you're on track, when you're in your flow, when you're making the differences you want, you feel joy. So be in tune to that and notice, okay, that was not a joyful interaction. I need to change my target audience or I need to change the way I deliver my product if it's not bringing you joy. So I believe we do all have a life purpose and it is important that we discover what it is we were put on this earth to do. So like I said, clues to your life purpose can be found in the things we notice us bringing joy or that we feel most passionate about or that we see helping the most people around us. So by identifying your life purpose or your right livelihood, (laughs) uh, you can inject passion and determination into every activity you undertake. It will bring an aspect of fun and fulfillment to virtually everything you do. Not just what you decide to monetize, not just what you do for a livelihood, but all of your relationships. Think about successful people that you know, like truly successful people. Not just rich people, not just skinny people, but like truly successful. They are well-rounded and they're not just happy when the sun is shining or when they're on vacation or when it's payday. Right? They have abundance of joy in everything that they do. They attract better relationships. They are healthier. They take better care of their body. They have well behaved kids. Like, take note of that and remember that it's not just about monetizing, it's about creating this full life of abundance. Are you guys with me? Because without a life purpose, it's easy to get sidetracked on your life's journey. It's easy to wander and drift and research, and you accomplish little. And with a purpose, everything seems to fall into place. So being on purpose means that you're doing what you love, you're doing what you're good at, and you're accomplishing what's important to you. And like I said, the resources, the people, the income will all gravitate towards you naturally. So imagine having that mission statement as a roadmap to guide you in your daily action. So if an activity doesn't fit into your life purpose, you wouldn't work on it, period. If something was getting you off track in life and was making you frustrated, you'd be able to recognize it before spending too much time, energy, or resources on it. You'd move on to the next thing. You'd be following joy every single day. So do you see why we're going to now work on writing your life mission statement? It's so foundational. It's so critical. I've been talking about it for this long because I want you to get excited to see the purpose behind having a purpose. So Think to yourself, the journal is down. If I were provided with everything I wanted and needed to release my full potential and achieve my highest vision, what would my purpose be? Just guess. Just see if you can think about it. 
And while you're thinking about that, you might be wondering, how does a purpose differ from goals or action plans? Remember, this is just step one. We have an action plan. Don't worry. Okay, so purpose is the why, the reason you create your goals and the reason why you pursue the activities that you do, why you want to monetize, what that means. It's a reason you strive to achieve the results you're looking for. So goals are just what you'll accomplish. And action plans are the how you'll accomplish those goals. So without purpose as your compass, goals and action plans are meaningless. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to, be, to begin to develop your life purpose statement. You've already been thinking about what are the things that bring me joy and what could, like if everything were taken care of in an ideal world, what might my purpose be? So first, it is important to get clear on those two things. And then we're going to formulate a mission statement. So this is something I ask every single client to do before we dive into their business. I need to actually understand what your personal mission statement is. So the first piece is to brainstorm those unique strengths. And I always like to say, like, go back to third grade because it's interesting how we've had the same strengths throughout our life. Not necessarily that they were innate, yet we had these tendencies that make us uniquely us. And this is so foundational. So one of my clients, she's so amazing. She was everyone's friend. She never was like the person that wanted to stand up and be, you know, the president or the leader. Yet she was and everyone knew her. And she thought about, you know, her strengths. And she's like, oh my gosh, like I could talk to every single person in my graduating class. So her strength is definitely like being amicable, making friends, maintaining real relationships. Um, some of your strengths might be that you are determined. You have a no matter what attitude, okay? No matter what happens, I stick to what I say I'm going to do. I told my husband I'm going to monetize my passion project and I'm going to figure out how, no matter if it takes me five months or five years. So think about those things that just feel strong and true. And maybe they're the things you hear from coworkers or people in your life a lot. Like you are just so thoughtful. You are always remembering, um, you know, how people are feeling or what's going on in other people's lives or you're so creative like you brainstorm like a queen I'm so grateful for that in you so a few strengths of yours and then the next piece of your mission statement is what is the problem you want to solve so when I first started coaching the problem I wanted to solve so I wanted women to love their bodies and not get caught up in over exercising and eating disorders and body dysmorphia because I had experienced it and many times, your, the problem you want to solve is something that you've experienced. So it's a former version of yourself or the people you want to help. So you could think about where does your mind wander or what are the things you love talking about at happy hour? And for me, it was like health and wellness. Um, it's evolved since then. I'm going to share with you my mission statement, but that's a really great place to start. If you're not sure, like what problem do I want to solve in the world? Who do I want to help? Another way to dig into that piece of your mission statement is to um, journal out some with this sentence stem. So start with the sentence stem, my life is ideal when. And not just, okay, yes, your life. My life is ideal when I'm in the sunshine, I'm drinking smoothies, and I live in Guatemala, okay? Yeah. Also, like, what's happening in the world? So my life is ideal when women are loving their bodies and middle school students understand how to set goals, Okay. So first piece of your mission statement are the strengths that are true to you, that you can own. You can say, I am this. Then who do you want to help? What problem do you want to solve? And then why? What is this going to mean for the world, for your life? And again, if it is not Oprah worthy, that is okay. Maybe this means that you won't have to commute and you will have so much more energy for your kids. And that's totally amazing. So my mission statement goes like this. So I am in inspiring and results driven coach and leader who helps students of all ages realize that dream life is real life because when we unleash our best self the world is operating ideally so to me that means a lot and I don't put that mission statement on my forehead or my website that's just what I know I know students of all ages are waiting on me to inspire and get them results it's because then we all live our best selves OK, so another piece that I want to talk to you about is I'm not just a business coach. So what you'll find is when we move through this process and when we live in our mission, we're able to expand quickly. 
So what do I mean by that? Yes, I'm a, I'm a business coach. I also run an organization called Dream Life Academy with my partner. My partner used to be a seventh grade humanities teacher. So he was teaching English and history in San Francisco. And I was getting these amazing results with my clients. And I'd be talking about, you know, how powerful it is to write your mission statement and make decisions based on your life purpose. And we got to brainstorming a few nights about like, kids need this. Like, why is Hannah only working with like people, like a grown people? Why are so many people unclear about their purpose, even after they have a family or even after they have jobs? Like, we need younger people thinking about these things. So we launched Dream Life Academy, and we've adapted these principles to middle schoolers. And that's not the thing that allowed me to retire him. Okay, he no longer goes to work. I'm the only person, like, earning our money. Um, And that's possible to be you know, earning money from coaching and doing these things. And then also having this whole other leg of philanthropy that doesn't necessarily have to be monetized hugely, but can be expanding my mission statement. And these are the opportunities and the ideas that show up when you decide to make decisions based on your purpose. That sounding good to you guys? All right, so go ahead and be writing down these, you know, my two strengths, the people I want to help, and why. That is your mission statement, and it will evolve, okay? You know, like you might be starting out with the mission statement to that you are creative and ambitious and you want to help stay-at-home moms feel more confident because you are a stay-at-home mom that wants to feel more confident and you know that in the process you will do that. Or maybe you are critical and a problem solver and you want to help more people take care of their accounting books so that you don't have to commute and you can do book work from home. That's amazing. Start. You just have to start. Remember we talked about this is building momentum. All right, so a couple of quick hacks. This is still number one. And here are some quick hacks, some action steps to start growing that mission statement, feeling more confident, feeling more expansive in this mission statement. So we did this a little bit at the beginning, but I'm a huge proponent of visualization. So I want you to think about, like, picture those people that you want to help visualize them think about the power that your mission statement is going to have or the impact that your mission statement is going to have on people or picture yourself not commuting like play those scenes in your head this is scientific I have tons of trainings and blog posts just about this I won't go into um, but visualize what this is going to look like what it's going to feel like what it's going to taste like and then secondly uh, use the power of affirmations so The I am sentence starter is a powerful cue to your brain. So I am an inspiring and results-oriented leader. I am that. Okay, it's no longer like, what if I tried this? What if I, no, like I'm owning it. And so I encourage you to state your mission statement in I am form at least once a day. I always do it when I'm brushing my teeth and when I'm showering because I do those things. I do one of those things a couple times a day. (laughs) Um, So I encourage you to be integrating your affirmation of I am and stating your mission statement on the daily. And then also daily for you go-getters, people who are really committed to sharing your mission, getting clearer on your why and getting more people in your field of gravity in this momentum. So I want you to share your mission with five people a day. So this could be sending emails to people from your past to calling up your mom and being like, hey, I just got this, you know, I just had this amazing training and I realized I am a, you know, results oriented and inspiring leader. And she'll be like, okay, cool. When are you coming to visit? Um, But really just practicing it, introducing yourself with confidence, bringing more gravity around your mission will 100% bring you resources and people to help you keep growing it okay got that stuff done Whew. all right mission that is huge number one under our belts and evolving right now how do we monetize that number two is formulating a high ticket offer so let's remember the world doesn't pay you for what you know or what you believe or how you feel <laughs> it pays you for what you do so we're getting into action now So the proper order of things is to start being who you want to be now, practicing those affirmations, owning the fact that you're a leader, that you're a business owner, and then the action and then practice the actions that go along with being that person. And soon you will find that you easily have everything in life. This is just 
science. <laughs> this is truly science. So successful, rich people have the right mindset and are action oriented. So let's get into those actions. Going back to your mission statement, these people you want to help or this problem you want to solve, we are going to create something that speaks to that, that you love and other people need. So first, I want it to be something you love. So I want you to identify your non-negotiables. And it's great to dream big here. So when your passion project is your full-time income, how do you want to be living? How many hours a week do you want to be working? Who do you want to work with? What will they pay you for? So before we get into those questions, I want you to look at your week. Dream week. Like I love, I give clients these like blank slates and they just fill in their dream week. And yes, work is going to be part of that. I told you, this is not just like a sleep on the beach and get paid deal, okay? This is about impacting people and offering value every single week. (laughs) Not every single day, every single week. So look at your week and think about what are the elements of self-care? Relationships, work, commuting. Is that going to be, do you like going to an office? Like look at your week and start writing in, like what would it look like without the how quite yet, you know, if I were doing exactly what I wanted, So um, we're doing this first to create a model that you enjoy because yes, we're going to approach this like a business, but it's not going to work if you aren't in love with it. And if it's not sustainable, I see way too many people building a business and then building a life around it. And that is not what dream life is real life is all about. It's about setting up the lifestyle, living in Guatemala perhaps, and then fitting in how, how could that work? How could I reach the people I want to reach while doing the things I want to do? So first, I outline your ideal week. This is fun. This is important. And look at this weekly, daily, okay? The next thing we're going to need to do is crunch a few numbers. So when you're looking at your week, like maybe you realize you got to Saturday and you're like, oh my God, I didn't do any work. I didn't have any phone calls. Okay, that's totally fine. Um, But we, so we do need to crunch some numbers to see like how many people do you need? Where are they going to fit into your schedule? So take the income you want per month. Let's just say $10,000 for ease. This is easily attainable in what we're working on here. So let's say you want to earn $10,000 a month and then divide that by the capacity you have for your clients. So do you want to work with 10,000 people or two, right? And we know there are a lot of ways to do this. You can be coaching one-on-one. You can be coaching one-on-ten. You can be having a platform online that 10,000 people use. Okay, but get a sense of that. Like, do you want to have those one-on-one interactions or do you want to have a ton of people? I will tell you, getting one or two clients is much easier than 10000 a month. No matter what your price point is, it's just time leveraging. Like having to reach out to that many people, 10000 is much more challenging than one to five, right? All right, so that $10,000. For me, I like working with like, you know, two cl- new clients a month. Are you seeing where we're going here? This is going to be a $10,000 offer. Now, we're going to reverse engineer. Are you guys get are you guys with me? We've got our ideal week. Now, we've got how many people we want to work with on an income goal, and now we get to reverse engineer your dream life by starting with a big dream and then breaking down the how. Now, I, you're getting this hint, I am a huge proponent of high ticket offers because they change lives. How many free books have changed your life? How many $200 courses have completely shifted the way that you live your life? Yeah, not so many. How many life-changing experiences? You getting out of your comfort zone, shaking things up, being completely scared have revolutionized you, have changed the way you think, the way you are, the connections that you have. This is exactly what I see. And you guys can go look around in groups all day on Facebook. You guys can go research and try it out for yourselves. I can just summarize for you right now. If you don't charge enough, you are not going to enjoy working with folks because they don't show up. They don't get results. They don't get it. When we get out of our comfort zone and we invest, we show up. Right? If you were paying $5,000 for a flight, would you not go? you definitely show up. If you paid $79 for a flight, would you show up? Eh, I'm not feeling so well, right? 
All right, so that's something to think about. And owning that having a priceless offer is going to change lives, and you do not need that servant mentality. I already told you that in the science of getting rich, there's no way to be your full self to impact the people you want without income. And why not have a lot of it? Because then you can impact more people. I get excited about this. I hope you are too. So let's take my client, Nicole. Let me like give you an example and you guys can work as you're working through this. So she was a brand new mom. She was pregnant when we got started and then she had Jackson. And so we did her ideal week and it was like very unclear because she had never had kids before and she didn't know like what kind of baby he was going to be like. So I was like, so let's give you hella flexibility. Let's say that you only work three hours a week and it can be all on Friday afternoon when your husband's home. Okay, how do I do that? Okay, well, great. So if you've got three hours and your income goal is $15,000 a month, which it was, again, her offer comes out to $5,000. And now Nicole is a stay-at-home mom with Jackson. She has clients paying her. She chats on the phone with them every other week. And she has this whole wildfire movement. So because her clients are paying her taking care of her income she doesn't have to go back to her full-time job she's the mom that she wants to be and she's developing resources that aren't paid that she gets to share with her community at large not just her three clients and yes she's leading the why child wildfire movement you guys can check her out So she needed flexibility and she wanted high impact coaching with a few people. And that's exactly what she's doing. Another example, just me. He, um, well, we should go back a little bit. So his mission statement, to give you even more clarity, his mission statement was to bring positivity and music to the world. He's uh, really into mindfulness and he's a hip hop artist. And he was sick of all the violent messages and he wasn't succeeding in the Oakland music scene the way he wanted to. So he came to me, we dug a little bit deeper into that mission statement, and it wasn't just that he wanted to be like rich and famous from his music, he really did want to make an impact, and he also wanted to make an impact for the next generation. So he thought about, maybe I need to start doing hip-hop for kids. Well, wait, 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 he says. (laughs) I am sick of being stuck in the studio. I have kids of my own, and I want to be able to travel and like sleep in, like I'm not the... I wanted to be a hip hop artist. I'm not looking to work all day every day and like grind in schools or become a teacher. No problem. We created a $2,000 package that he goes to a few schools a month. He does assemblies and he gets paid $2,000 for half, half, like an afternoon of his time. So if he goes to five schools a month, he hits his $10,000 goal each month. So do you see how taking your mission statement, thinking about how I, how do I want to fit this in and what is my income goal, you start to get these ideas and of course it's helpful to bounce ideas off of you know someone who's got some insight, knows a lot of business models, um, but also have you guys ever had that um, in the shower moment, like you're just like showering, like, like oh my god, I could do hip hop for kids or like oh my god, we could take this curriculum into max school seventh grade dream life academy like oh my gosh like I only need two clients so let yourself you're taking a ton of notes I'm sure I'm giving you guys so much here um but let this kind of marinate and this is not like an overnight like oh yep okay this is again this is not a cookie cutter thing you're gonna have to put some energy and some thinking into this for yourself and then once this is set whoo then we go and grow right Okay, so you're thinking about how to package this. Number one, you've got a mission statement. You know you need to be helping people. You want to offer value to the world. And number two, you want to build it around a life that you love, earning a, your dream income. So you're thinking about how do I crunch these numbers and how could this fit into my dream week? Number three, let's get to know these people and start taking actions on messaging because connection is currency, right? So whether you need 10,000 people to achieve your goal or you need two people, you're going to have to communicate with them. And let's make it super simple. Let's not make it salesy. Let's not make it weird. Let's not make it hard. You guys with me? All right. So we're going to talk about how to use connection as currency. So getting to know your people, whether it's school administrators who are going to invite you over or it's other stay-at-home moms that you want to coach. I love this exercise and I encourage every business owner, no matter what the heck you're doing, to have this on tap, to be going back to this all the time. And it's called your dream life and your real life list. So 
dream life is actually getting into the heads of people that you want to work and thinking about what is it that they want to achieve. So I wish I could have been in all of your brains when you were visualizing those $30,000 months because then I would be literally writing down what you say, what you hope, what you see so that I can be creating things to help you get there. So have you ever heard the marketing term? If you're talking to everyone, you're talking to no one. It's super true, right? Like if I was just like, all right, like let's make your dream life your real life because you have a passion. Okay, but I'm talking to like soulful people, folks that want to make a difference in the world, who want to quickly translate into profit and not be on this hamster wheel of $4,000 a month or less doing what they love. So I know that sometimes you're waking up in the middle of the night wondering like, is this going to work? Do I need to go back and get a job? Where is my next dollar going to come from and when is my partner going to believe in me? I know that you're waking up like that sometime because, and we're going to talk about how to do this, because you get into conversation with real people. So I want you to literally have a Google document or a notepad that has exact dreams, goals, hopes of the people you want to help. Their words, not your, like, I think they want $10,000 or I think they want more free time. I want time with my kids before they go to kindergarten because I worked really hard to have these kids and I didn't know that. I was ever going to have this opportunity and I want to make the most of it because I only have three more years. Way different than I want time with my kids, right? All right. And then the other list is the real life. How are they like, and that's more of the like waking up in the night. What are they thinking about? What does their partner say that makes them feel like crap about their business or whatever? So this is really market research. And I want you to have conversations with real people who could be benefiting from your work. And here's the thing that no one is doing that I want you to do. That you're ready? No one's doing this. And if you do this, you will win at online business. No one is listening. Look around online. Everyone is yelling, convincing, telling you. If you can position yourself to be a listener, if you can invite people into real conversations to get on the phone with you, tell, ask them, what are your dreams? What are you hoping for? What would, you know, if you could wave a magic wand over your life, what would happen? And then you write that down. Just pure curiosity at this stage of your business. And then also, okay, so what's it actually like now? Tell me, what are your struggles? You guys can do this over Facebook chat. You can do this on phone conversations. You can go to freaking Reddit and copy and paste and see the questions people are asking. You can go to Kiora.com. You can use Twitter. Like, just go see what real, the words and the phrases that your people are using and create a list. The fastest, most impactful way to do this Um is to go to Facebook groups for a hot minute. Don't get lost in the Facebook land. Uh, but do some keyword searching. Looking for Facebook groups related to, you know, mompreneurs or escape the nine to five or weight loss. Like whatever you're thinking you want to start helping people with. Go into those groups. See what topics they're talking about. What are the questions people are posting? And if it's one of those groups where people aren't, they're just like self-promoting, send a direct message and invite people to just chat with you about market resort- research research. Or send out a survey. Okay? Cool. So you're going to have a dream life and a real life list. And this is going to give you content on tap. Where you can always go back. You'll be like, ah, yeah, I haven't talked about those staying up at night worrying about your partner thing in a long time. I know that these are things that are coming up for people. And I need to be speaking directly to them in my content. Yet, the only way I know this is because I've listened. You guys got that? So what you really need to find out. And as you're making this list is, is there anything that you can create or offer to solve a particular problem that they have? You know, is there a relationship training that you could set up to help them solve that staying up at night? Like, why doesn't my boyfriend support me? Is there a community you could build, like an online platform or a Facebook group or an in-person workshop to help them feel more connected and less alone? Whatever these things that are coming up, like ask yourself, is there anything that I can create or offer to solve a problem they have? Another thing to be looking out for is, is there a common goal or ambition with others in this circle that you know you could help them with if there was some system in place? So let's say everyone is telling you, like, I just want more time at home with my kids. It's like, okay, like what is something that I can create? And if you're in a multi-level marketing business, like, 
you've you've got a business offer probably or you've got a way for them to join your team to earn more time and financial freedom or maybe the system is a mastermind group that you could create for them to feel like they have more accountability and feedback from people um again i'm just brainstorming because that's one of my strengths (laughs) and then lastly a question to be thinking about is do you enjoy or do they enjoy certain activities that could be made more accessible or easier with your energy so i'm a digital nomad right now i'm in guatemala i travel the majority of the year i don't have one place that i can really call home all my mail is sent to my parents house right now (laughs) Um, and i think about digital nomads a lot and the things that i learned in traveling so much and so i've created blog posts and courses and things that people can learn you know what do you need to have in place to be a digital nomad how do you get reliable internet whoo that's the toughest question i think i get Um, how do you connect with community when you're only going to be there for a little bit and so i thought okay well i enjoy being a digital nomad and i know a lot of people in my community are interested in travel so let me create something that's going to empower them and support them and I learned that from having conversations with people online (laughs) who talked about freedom based businesses or doing things online that they love so they can also travel all right so number one we have a mission statement we know our life's purpose and people have got to benefit from our passions and our skills and our strengths number two we're thinking about what how can we package okay we've got this ideal week in mind we've got this income goal now how how could I package this how many people do I want to hit that goal and fit into my week number three I'm gonna get to know these people I'm gonna start doing market research by getting in conversation and listening and outlining a dream life in a real life list so that I can always have insight into how I need to speak to them and what I need to create for them. Now number four is how to sell it. Now of course you can create a Facebook group and you need to grow your email list and you can run ads. Yes those are ways to sell things but imagine growing a community that will join your momentum and supply constant income these are your paying people your raving fans people you actually know and you're listening to how do we do that how do we how do we sell without being salesy that's a question I get all the time how do I feel good about offering my value and how do I not convince people I don't want to convince people to pay me five thousand dollars I got you, boo. Okay? We are going to elevate your platform. There are so many ways to position yourself as an expert, as the go-to person. Okay? And how good would it feel to have people coming to you, lining up to work with you, as opposed to searching and grabbing and chasing? We don't want to chase. We don't want to chase. Okay? Do your 5K in the morning. Don't chase people all day long. So you're running low on time and... So I'm running low on time. So these are the things you need to be thinking about here is high level marketing. So this is platform elevation. This is um, creating content that people gravitate towards. This is influencer marketing. So collaborating with people who will double, triple, quadruple your audience size. So look, if I'm just talking to like my Facebook group, this is something a lot of people do. They start a Facebook group and they just talk to them. And it's them doing lives and it's them posting. What if you invited someone else kind of related to you into your Facebook group? You know, like, hey, Joe, I want to interview you about the challenges of being a digital nomad. I think we could have a great conversation about that. And hey, will you share this with your Facebook group and your audience? Sure, Hannah, that sounds really fun. My audience will love this too. Boom, two audiences are seeing who I am and I'm established as a leader instantly that's a super simple way to do influencer marketing with what you already have um, in social media other ways is to um, collaborate on like a summit like putting together an online event with other influencers this gets amazing email share this gets amazing reach and again just the more people the more eyeballs that you can be in front of sharing your mission sharing what you know sharing what you're passionate about you're you're going to be attracting people that line up to work with you So another thing to be thinking about with um, elevating your platform is using the media to expand your mission. So it's great if you have a blog. I highly doubt that Ariana Huffington is on this stream right now, though, okay? Because the people who have big blogs um, 
or who we want to be talking to. So you guys who don't have huge blogs need to be leveraging the power of other folks' sites. So I want you to go to medium.com, thriveglobal.com, huffingtonpost.com. These are big players that you can be featured in. Um, you can, and that you can just like submit a blog post to. Remember, you're thinking about content that your ideal people need and you're going to start becoming known on the internet for these conversations that are, you're pulling from your dream life and your real life list. So elevating your platform means that you're going to be thinking about, um, standing up as an expert, being a leader, not a chaser. And you can do that by collaborating with other people. You can do that by guest blog posting, posting blogs on other platforms. Uh, I highly encourage you in your market research conversations to ask folks, where do you hang out? You know, are do you love YouTube channels? Do you read mind, body, green, do you subscribe to Women's Health Magazine? Do you listen to the Entrepreneur on Fire podcast? Uh, and get a sense for where you need to be showing up because it's where they're hanging out. So that's blogs and that's podcasts. And podcasts are the most powerful marketing tool out there right now because people are invested. They're listening to your story. They've chosen to click on you. And there's always opportunity to stay connected with podcast folks. So I've hired coaches from podcasts I've listened to. I've had clients come to me from podcasts I've been on and I just have to sit down and talk. I don't have to write out a whole blog. I don't have to do my hair. <laughs> Not that I obviously do that even for video now, but you know, it's an amazing opportunity and there's so, so many shows out there. And the number, they are listened to by the millions every single day. So the more podcasts you can be on, the more you will be reaching your people, getting in their ears, and then that's always there. You're not having to post in your Facebook group every single day or send out an email. Like, it's always out there running. And automation and content creation are your friends. And so the more content you can get out into big places that will always be sitting there, This is when you get the email and says, hey, Hannah, I read your article in Forbes and I totally resonated with what you were talking about, about influencer marketing, and I'd love to talk to you more about that. Great. This is exactly what I do. All right. So that last one I said, I got a little antsy because we were running out of time, but I want you to think about elevating your platform, using media to your advantage, collaborating with influencers, and never chasing, just setting up your platform. Another thing that a lot of my clients do is publish books. It's much more simple today than it ever was to self-publish. And that's another place people look. They find you on Amazon or they see you're speaking about your book somewhere locally and they see you as a leader, not as someone who's like, hey, you want to read my book? You want to join my course? Do you want this? Do you want that? I'm selling everything. No, thank you. Position yourself as an authority. So, whew, all right. <laughs> I haven't even drank my, I've just been like holding my coffee and like I'm just so jazzed about this. So I hope you guys are getting so many notes. I want you to think about my client Dominic for a minute. So he was a corporate guy. He was working way too many hours. He had three kids, this big fancy house. And he just, he like woke up in his 40s and he was like, I can't. Like, how did I get here? No, no, no. I'm not going to do this. Yet he had a lot of income coming in and it was really hard for him to just step away before he realized like, okay, I want to just like train people. I just want to talk during the day for a few hours and have everything taken care of for me and my family. So we developed a training that he takes to corporations and he gets paid $20,000 a day. And this guy was used to working hard. So he goes to several places a month earning hundreds, $100,000 a month. And so he positions himself with these speaking engagements. He gets paid very well doing what he loves. And then now he has all these little things. He can sell a workbook in the back of the room. He can do video trainings because he's just recording that. Yet when you start with, I'm okay with working several hours a week, going places in my community. I love talking. I'm fine talking to a lot of people. Then you start to realize like, ah, this is it. And you get that momentum. And the speaking, the reason why I'm bringing up Dom now is because his speaking engagements have elevated his platform or he isn't even chasing people. He or he isn't like reaching out to people like, hey, you want to have me? It's word of mouth. It spreads. And again, he's created this platform for himself that have people lining up. Sound cool? Because we need these raving fans. We need that momentum. We need that credibility so that people will invest in us and trust us. Have you guys heard about the no like, and trust factor? Well, this is exactly taken care of by elevating your platform, influencer marketing, um, 
podcasts are huge um creating content and again being that go-to person instead of that going around person all right so to recap you've got to have the mindset that you are worth earning a ton of money because you're going to make a ton of difference in the world I'm throwing out numbers that might seem crazy to you, but these are the things I help my clients achieve. $20,000 in a day, $15,000 a month working three hours a week, going to schools and earning thousands of dollars. Even if you think that's a hard niche, like it is possible when you're on purpose and you're able to communicate to people. Okay, so number one is that that purpose. Number two is how do you want to package your life? How do you want to offer your value? Number three is getting to know them, listening, having that dream life and that real life set up for you. And then number four is using all of that to position yourself as an expert. And look, I don't tell people, if you don't like talking, don't do podcasts, do blogs. If you don't want to be, have a Facebook group, don't have a Facebook group. I have plenty of clients who don't even have social media and that works. All right, so you need to understand, again, that goes back to your strengths and how do you want it to be. If you don't want to be going live, don't go live. Don't put it in your ideal week, right? There's so many ways to achieve these goals. Because imagine, again, creating that community, that community that is based on the one thing that you are so passionate about and they can connect you to you with. All right, so we have already learned so much on this training and we've made so much progress, right? And so the next step really is implementing. It's getting yourself out there and earning the money, monetizing by implementing all of these steps. So making this work for you and your mission and your dreams is really the next question, right? Because when you know what your steps are, that's much easier than me talking to you about like, well, this is how I earn $30,000 a month and from helping others. And this is how I got elected to Forbes. And this is how I retired my partner. And this is how Dom and Jess and all these other people have done what they do. Because, oh, excuse me. Because I want you to remember that being able to share your message around the world with the internet is exactly what I want you to be doing. And it's exactly what my clients have done. From being featured on dozens of podcasts to speaking in places like San Francisco, Seattle, a Caribbean cruise. <laughs> it is so possible to monetize your passions right now. Okay, Taking these steps and making them fit for you. I don't want you to wait any longer. I don't want you to think, well, I don't know how that applies to me. Because I get that you're feeling inspired and I love it. And you guys have achieved the first piece. And typically after I share this life-changing content, people have three responses. Okay. Either they see how building an online audience will help them easily sell their offer, but they leave the training and do nothing. Okay, drop, let me know, like, no shame. I've definitely been that person that goes and I listen to a training and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And then I just go drink coffee. I don't want that to be one of these for you, though. Because the next group of people, this might be you, is that they take the content and they figure, okay, I can build an online community easily. So they open up a Facebook group, they go get a new Instagram, and they randomly start throwing darts at the wall, hoping something will stick. Like, okay, I'm going to talk to this person and do that, and I'll write a blog post, and like, okay, I can, I can do all this. And if that's not a strategy. That doesn't work. <laughs> that, those are the people that go do a bunch of stuff with no strategy, and they burn out, and they're just, yeah, throwing darts, darts all day, every day. And it leads up to that, like, I'm giving up. This doesn't work. I post it in all the groups. I talk to people. I, I have this offer in my head. I don't know. It's not, it didn't work. And I was wrong, which is crazy. Dream life is not real life. Okay. They end up being better. And then the third group realizes that there is potential in building a powerful, passion-filled audience for selling their offer and impacting thousands of people. And remember, when you help thousands of people get what you want, you get thousands of things that you want. <laughs> um, and they do what I'm about to tell you because they trust that they are worth this. And they easily and quickly build their dream audience with no stress, confusion, no trial and error, and they don't waste time or money. So let me know if you want that to be you. The phone is ringing. That must mean somebody wants to be a number three. Because guess what, you guys? Only one of these is actually going to get the results from this training. And that's the third one right? The people who do what I'm about to tell you. And they don't just throw their hands in the air and say, well, pff, that's too much. Or, okay, I'll try a few things. And when they does, doesn't work, I'll, I'll probably just give up. Because you've probably given up on things before and it doesn't feel good, does it? 
So I want you to be a number three. I want you to commit to implementing a strategy that's going to, again, save you time, money, and get you into profit land way sooner than you ever expected. So this is why I am so pumped to invite you guys to a high level space to make all of these features and community growth strategies work for you. Because let's be honest, telling you how to customize your offer and organize your dream life and start talking to people and then, you know, elevate your platform is not enough. (laughs) Okay, because if you actually want this to happen, You've got to be in a space that is going to cradle you so that you're not just like throwing darts at the wall, right? So this is why I'm going, I'm creating, or I'm offering, I've already created it and it works, I've proven it. I'm offering you guys a 10-week program and this is going to get even deeper. Like you have hours of just, ooh, boy, you have hours just helping you really solidify your mission statement, not just looking at examples or journaling crap out. So if you're interested in getting a deep dive into these steps and even more, this program gives you literal scripts of how to get your first few podcast features, how to actually get featured in blogs that people are going to share. Because like you can go upload blogs and that's great, but how do they go viral? How do people like actually find them and then find you? Same thing with social media, if that's going to be part of your strategy. So how many of you are interested in personalized strategies, support, Like actually like feedback, conversation with me and other people who are going through this process and even some done for you templates and strategies to help you get speaking gigs, media features, podcasts and expert positioning. Like all of you. Wow. Okay. This is awesome. So um, how many of you are not sure where to start? Okay. Like you're like, okay, there's a 10 week course. Like I wonder what's going to start first. Like uh, your head is just buzzing. Um, So I'm not even sure if this is going to be a good fit for you yet. I'm offering this 10 week program for folks ready to get on dozens of podcasts when know what they're offering to have really clear communication and everything that they do and to be earning money doing what they love even if that's working three day, three hours a week so this is what Nisha had so Nisha came to me and she was like okay like I did some of the stuff in your training I have this course it's two thousand dollars I want five women to get it and I started talking to some of them but like no one has money and like I'm just like talking to people on Facebook all the time and I think I should improve my website like all this stuff okay and so we worked together she went through this process we got super clear on exactly where she needed to be and what she needed to be saying and in her first month her first four weeks she earned twenty thousand dollars okay same thing with my client Shayna Shayna had all these ideas and like she had this awesome blog and she had this vegan recipe book and she had a little bit of people following her on Instagram and she's like I think I want to make a course for them I'm hearing a little bit I did what you said I talked to them um and so we ultimately got her book published on Amazon so that people were finding her she wasn't just selling it out to her friends we got her to start in-person community events because she didn't she has a Facebook group but she didn't just want to be there um and she ultimately got three paying clients from the live events that we organized together um you know I could keep going on and on my client Heather she was a photographer and she was sick and tired of photography of just like having to show up every weekend at weddings and shoot people and so we actually made a coaching program that she does from her home she's a total go-getter so she's working pretty full-time because she also had started she started her own podcast so she is um, you know showing up interviewing people building her network reaching lots of people on her podcast she also does a lot of um, content creation on Pinterest because she's an artist she was a photographer uh, and she coaches a few people a month in helping them utilize self-care and creativity to overcome grief she had a story she has a story that includes a sudden death of her mom that really derailed her and so she was able to like be present be at home let go of the photography business and focus on the creative content she wanted to do while helping others transition through grief okay so And she is earning $10,000 a month 
just again doing what she loves and this is what is so possible and you have the exact same opportunity as these people to have the same strategies to have the same support starting today for a crazy affordable price so I'm launching this 10 week program and the first thing the first thing you need to know is that it's super high touch so you're going to be watching trainings you're going to be getting content every week and you're also going to have access to me and the Facebook group so you have constant you know feedback and email support and we're just totally there to help you for 10 weeks launch your offer everything from your mission statement and daily habits okay mindset is key but how do you foster it every single day in a way that works not just like the woo woo you're awesome go for it um then we talk about your priceless offer like really getting nailing down how you want to be delivering your service and how much is that going to cost and then we also need to get a little bit more clear on not just the people you want to work with and people you're talking to online but also who has a bleeding neck and who's going to be ready and excited and grateful to be paying you then we talk about all the business tools you need so especially if you're just starting out how do you process payments online what should my contract look like how taxes that's scary okay we talk about all of that logistic stuff and then I give you literal scripts to have these market research conversations and to enroll people to show them that you can help them and not the salesy way this is not a sales conversation this is a service script that I give to you. Again, some of this is done for you. Then we go into all sorts of media features. I give you scripts for getting podcasts, for getting sp- scripts, people, like the literal things you just take and bake. <laughs> um, how do you get those people, those influencers to collaborate with you, even if you're just starting out, even if you have a small audience? Because I'm telling you, the number of clients I've gotten by just being interviewed in other people's Facebook groups is legit, okay? At least six. Six of my clients have come from Facebook. Um, so we, we give you all of that because I want to see, my mission is to see more lifelong learners, students of all ages, stepping into their purpose and getting paid well for it without chasing, without stressing. So this 10-week course is going to walk you through it. And throughout the process, you're getting constant feedback on Facebook and email. And for those of you who are on this live training and you act today, I have a special bonus for you. So People in the next hour, when you sign up and you put, add this to your cart, I'm giving you one hour of one-on-one coaching over the phone that you can schedule within the 10 weeks of your purchase. So this is like the high level, I'm going to jump into your business and answer any questions you have because not everything can be answered over email or Facebook. I'm sure you understand that. Um, anytime you get stuck in the program, you can book a call with me one-on-one. We have 60 minutes of my time. So guys, this is like everything. I'm telling you, this is how to get clear on your mindset, your mission statement, your purpose, how to do business nitty gritty tools, how to position your content calendar and use that dream life in real life list to actually be speaking to people every single day. Um, We also get into, like I said, all of that elevating your platform so that you're If you want to talk to people, you can go out and do that, but you're not chasing. Who has ever felt exhausted or intimidated by that? Okay? So we're talking about scripts, we're talking about feedback, and we're talking about community with a private Facebook group. So 10 weeks. Imagine 10 weeks until those 10K days, 20K months doing what you love. Go back to that vision you started at. Who are you waking up talking to? How do you feel... And it was easy. It was fun. You followed the joy because that is your compass, right? Following the joy. So you guys, all of this, 10 weeks of content, support, community, scripts, and the the content, the scripts you will have for a lifetime. You can always go back and grab those. And this is valued at $6,997. So to get that much of our dream life curriculum and the support and the community is almost $7,000. So today, again, you have the opportunity to take advantage of this for only $997 or, and that's if you pay in full, there is a payment plan though. You could do five payments of $207 and you get to get started in the next five minutes and you get access to all of this content and you get to start interacting with me and asking your direct questions and thinking about, man, who needs my life-changing offer and How am I going to show them and how am I going to set myself up with a business that I love and I enjoy and it fits into my ideal week, you guys, just $997. And 
The question is just not if you will make your money back. Okay, you've heard the results these people are getting. The question is how many times will you be able to make it back? One Less than $1,000, $997 for everything. And again, this is a $7,000 value, yet I'm giving to you for $997 or five payments of $207. It's a little bit more to do the payment plan. It will be charged every two weeks. Um, since you have 10 weeks in the program, there's five. Okay, these are the simple math problems we do here. <laughs> uh, I do recommend you pay in full because then it's you save a bit of money. But again, that payment plan is there because I want you to get in and get started and get that momentum we have been talking about. And again, remember what is possible. Multiple five-figure months, six-figure months for Don and others is possible for you too. This is the exact stuff that I offer them. I have never <laughs> done something this low price. I just had a realization in the shower that more people need this. And I understand if you you heard me talk about the power of high ticket and if you've ever applied for any of my programs before, you know it's much more expensive to work with me. Yet I had this realization that I don't want to be creating barriers for people. We create enough barriers for ourselves about why it's not possible or why we need to wait or why we can't or we shouldn't do things. And that's why I am slashing these prices for you guys. You showed up. You stuck through this training. I want to give you 10 of the most productive and lucrative weeks of your life for a fraction I have never gone anything near this and I'm so excited to see more people get these results because this is my vision for a, a dream world is all of us living our purpose and being paid well for enjoying it so all you need to do is click below choose your payment plan enter the information and you are going to be starting to get everything sent to you you're going to get access to my calendar to book that hour if you book right now get that free hour of coaching with me um, and you're going to start getting access to the community the videos and you can start asking your questions you know and again actually knowing what your personalized steps are and all you need to do is click below and choose lean in lean in and be open to making your dream life your real life everything you need is below let's go do this again hannah at dreamlifeisreallife.com h-a-n-n-a I'm always forward, H-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, at dreamlifeisreallife.com. If you have any questions, but the sooner you act on this, the sooner you can realize that your dream life is your real life and get paid amazingly well for doing what you love. Congratulations. Way to stick around. I am over time, but I hope it was so worth it, and I cannot wait to see more of you on the inside.